Mr. President, on behalf of Marines all over the world, we thank you for this uh, special observance of our 207th birthday of the Corps. This is a recognition that uh, Marines, regular, reserve, retired, former, are very attentive to every year. It's a tradition, including the cake cutting, which we follow with uh, great fidelity. And I think it's most appropriate this bright, beautiful early morning in Washington on November the 10th, 1982, that the Commandant should cut this cake and give the first piece to our Commander-in-Chief. Sir, you honor us, and we thank you. before I start talking. Now, I hope I can still talk. Are they going to eat that or? <laughs> I'll finish that a little later, but it's delicious. General Barrow, when we think of the Marine Corps, the thought of a piece of cake doesn't exactly come to mind. But I'll enjoy this one, as I say a little later. I know that Marines pride themselves on being gung-ho. I also know that it's a great risk in talking to any group to uh, try to tell an anecdote or story that has to do with their particular calling. But I'm going to do that, even at the risk that you probably already know it. There was a, it has to do with that gung-ho spirit. There was a Marine detachment that was sent to an army base to undergo some airborne training. The young lieutenant was explaining this all to them, what was expected, and then said that the plane would come over at about 800 feet. They would jump. They would then assemble and rendezvous with other forces in the area. And when he finished, uh, the Marines there went into a kind of huddle, and pretty soon several other spokesmen approached the lieutenant, and they said, uh, Lieutenant, could the plane maybe come over a little lower, say at about 500 feet? Well, he explained that no, it couldn't because the parachutes wouldn't have time to open. Oh, well, they said, oh, we're, we're wearing parachutes? The, uh, <laughs> I think you have heard it. <laughs> but um, anyway, seriously, I have great regard for the part that I am allowed to play here in the 207th birthday of the United States Marine Corps. Since the beginning of the Corps at the Tun Tavern in Philadelphia on November 10th, 1775, the term Marine has been associated with courage, military efficiency, and soldierly virtue. You have established a reputation of being the first to fight. And you did it in the old-fashioned way. You earned it. For 207 years, you've been there whenever and wherever our country needed you. From the rigging of ships during the American Revolution to the brutal island battlefields in the Pacific, in the Second World War, to the swamps and the rice paddies of Vietnam, you have never failed your country. And today, as we celebrate your fellow Marines are standing watch in Beirut as part of a multinational force that is carrying out this government's commitment to help bring peace to that troubled area. The rapid and successful landing, the continued strong, responsible presence of our Marines in Lebanon is in the finest tradition of the Corps. Your readiness for such situations is vital to our national security. So today, on your 207th birthday, I salute Marines, former Marines, and their families everywhere. Whether in land, sea, or air, Marines have been semper fidelis, always faithful to their country. And 
and speaking for all Americans, I thank you for it. And I am convinced that when we get to heaven, we'll find the streets are guarded by United States Marines. Thank you and happy birthday.